so hello guys welcome to the web technology lab videos so today we will discuss about assignment number six so in assignment number six we are going to use bootstrap framework for designing our web application so first of all we'll see what is bootstrap so bootstrap is developed by mark otto and jacob thompson at twitter so after that it is a free front-end framework for faster and easier web development so bootstrap generally includes html and css based design templates for typography forms buttons tables navigation models image carousels and many other as well as optional javascript plugins also so it is it helps to easily create responsive design so in short remember whenever you are going for a faster and easier web development or for responsive web designs that time you should use bootstrap framework so how to use bootstrap framework so there are two methods to use bootstrap framework so the first method is you can use cdn that is content delivery network so here you will find the urls file for accessing the bootstrap file so you need generally for the uh, web page or for web document you need all these three uh, files the first file is bootstrap.bin.css you will find on at this url so include this url this url in your link tag in your web page in your html page then you need you require jquery.bin.js file so that you will find on this url that you can include with the help of script tag in your uh, html file then you can include bootstrap.bin.js file so this with the help of this url by using script tag so these three uh, tags should be uh, uh, in your web page in your web document while designing the page the second uh, method is you can download the boot these bootstrap files from get bootstrap.com site okay so now we'll see the actual app uh, what uh, application that we want to design here so first of all we'll see okay we'll see this screenshot of our uh, the ui of our login form and uh, registration form so though we have to uh, design this type of login form okay so which will have username password remember me remember me then login reset button and here again link for the registration form so uh, again we are going to design the registration form in this way that which will have username password first name last name gender class and email fields and then register and reset button and then again hyperlink for login page okay so we'll start with the with the help of bootstrap framework so first we'll we are not going to use a cdn here so i'm going to use the offline mode that is i'm going to download the files from bootstrap get bootstrap.net uh, dot com uh, site and that i'm going to use in my html file so so first of all we'll create a project directory okay so we'll go okay i'm having this directory so in my directory i have already downloaded this bootstrap dash 3.3.7 this is the latest release of bootstrap framework so this zip file i have already downloaded so just now i'm going to extract this okay so i'll extract here so in this bootstrap directory there is a dist directory so in this directory you'll find css fonts and js directory so in css directory that you will find this boot the, these uh, many uh, versions of css files so out of this we we can use bootstrap.css or we can also use bootstrap.min.css so bootstrap.css is the longest version and the bootstrap.min.css is the minimum version of bootstrap framework so that we can use in our in our web page so I'm I'm going to use bootstrap.min.css in my web page. Then in JS in JavaScript we can use bootstrap.js here bootstrap.js or bootstrap.min.js. Okay. And again the third JavaScript file that you you have to use that is jQuery uh, JavaScript file uh, .js file. So the latest release of jQuery is 3.3.1. So that you can download from the jQuery site. Okay. So now I'm going to create two folders, two directories that is CSS and js so in this css and js i'm going to copy and paste the required files so in this i will go there and i will copy bootstrap.min.css that is required for my project so i'll paste it here okay then i'll go again and in this directory i'll go in i'll go in js file also in js directory i'll copy this bootstrap.min.js okay 
so that i will copy and paste here okay so i'm already having a jquery js file so that i will cut and paste inside this okay so this way i have made the two directories i have created the two directories css and js because they are required for our application okay now i'll create a register.html file and login.html file so i will use sublime text editor here okay so here i am save this file first i'll go to in my project directory that is bootstrap so here i will create first login.html file okay and in this file i'll type html okay now here in title tag i'll give okay so login form this is my title now then i'll use a meta tag so now see your bootstrap is allowing the mobile okay mobile uh, responsive design so uh, what is the responsive designs uh responsive responsive designs are those designs which are compatible with all the browsers which are compatible with all the devices that is ranging from small devices to largest devices so for that purpose to make our web page uh, responsive we have to include here meta tag we have to use a meta tag so in meta tag i to use uh, name attributes or name attribute will have a uh, viewport value here viewport demo uh, 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 it, it uh, uh, describes your monitor okay or your device monitor uh, so after that you have to use a content attribute here and in this content attribute you have to use device uh, width is equal to you have to specify the device width here so width is equal to device dash width so this specifies uh, that wherever your application loads or whenever your web page loads it should use the device width whether it is having a because every uh, device is having a variable size or variable width so as per its size its width it should take that width and it will use uh, it should use for that your web page okay so that we have to use here width is equal to device width and then we have to provide initial dash scale is equal to one so this initial scale is what the zoom level so initially uh, we are going to use the zoom zoom level that is one so this is the meta tag that you have to use for making your web page responsive okay so make responsive page by using this meta tag now after this we have to include our bootstrap file so first file that i want to use here that is css file so i'll use a link tag here so in link tag i will pass my the reference of or uh, the reference of my or link of my url of my bootstrap.min.css file so my uh, link is css uh, so it is available in css directory inside css directory it is having name bootstrap.min.css okay so this is the name of my bootstrap css file so after this i have to include a, a javascript file so the javascript file that i want to include that is first jquery so i'll include here js slash jquery dash 3.3.1.js so let me just uh, check whether it is a correct name or not i'll check so okay so it is having a correct name dash 3.3.1 okay so that we have used okay and uh, now the next js file that we have to use okay so again i, I will use script tag here and i will use the src attribute again here and uh, again uh, here i will pass the url of my bootstrap dot main dot js okay so this is my next javascript file so these three files are required so that we can we should include first now after this i go to in body tag now what bootstrap css file provides bootstrap.css file provides you all the required classes because here you need not to write any uh, uh, style sheet code or css code already all the code is already designed uh, written inside the bootstrap.min.css file so just you you should know the classes that has been uh, defined or that has been created inside the css file so here what i want to do i want to 
design login form. So first of all, I'll start with the div tag. So I'm going to use a box model. So first I will use a div tag where I'll use class. Okay, so container class I will use. So see in Bootstrap there are two classes container and container dash fluid which are used to occupy, which are used to design or make uh, to design a fixed width uh, column. Okay, or fixed width box. So here container uh, class will access the CSS which will be used for making a box okay so big box inside or a container that's like a container inside which we are going to uh, store or we are going to put other HTML elements okay so this is my first box so inside this box inside this container I'm going to put my other HTML elements now here I'm going to use now you can see here I have to use this panel okay so I have already created a container in which inside this I'm going to put this these elements okay these all elements so this this you can see that this blue colored this is called as a panel in bootstrap so that you can you didn't know to design this already this this uh, CSS has been defined by the bootstrap people so just we have to use their class here so the class name is panel so I'll use class name here with the help of div tag again I'm going to create a box with the help of div or division tag I'll use class equal to panel and then panel dash primary so see here why I'm using panel dash primary because here this panel is having a color that is it is having a color view okay so this blue color I want to use here okay so that I can use with the help of panel dash primary class so if you have to use other colors there are other classes available in uh, uh, bootstrap framework that is panel dash warning panel dash danger panel dash success panel dash info these are the different classes that you can use for uh, changing the colors okay so here I'm going to use this panel so which will have the blue color here so inside this I have to use again another division tag so again here this panel okay so I'm having this panel okay this is blue color panel and inside this I'm going to put this header this heading this heading I want to put okay so I'll put my heading here so again I will use a class that is panel dash heading okay so this tag I will use and uh, inside this tag I will put my text that is login form okay the next division tag I have to use here and we are I will use class panel dash boy okay so this panel is having this section is the body section okay after this this blue part the other section is the body part so that I can design with the help of uh, panel dash body class okay so inside this I'll put my form okay now I, I can put my form so I'll use form tag here okay so now see I'm going to use a horizontal form here so I'll use here again a class horizontal form dash horizontal okay Okay, so this form dash horizontal this class I have to use here and then inside this I will put one thing okay so I'll put next thing okay so I'm having a login or uh, username and password so I'll use here again I will do one thing that is I will again use a division tag okay why division tag because I am having a different different elements here see here I'm having a username that is this is use a label and this input field okay so these two elements I'm having that I want to arrange in this proper manner okay so I'll use here division tag again so I'll use division tag where I will use a class okay that is form dash group okay so this I'm using here for making the group of my that HTML elements okay so inside this I'll put my label now 
okay so in label i can use a uh, uh, again a class that is control dash label okay and then i will use a class that is call dash sm dash 2 so I, what is this call dash sm dash 2 now see in this form you can see it is in a proper manner so you can see that this is in line or daily in line okay so username after that there is a password so this build and then this build they are or are in line vertically so to make this we have to use a column approach okay so this we are going to uh, place in one column and this thing we are going to place in another column so the column width we know that the whole uh, screen or monitor is divided into 12 width okay Generally, in bootstrap is using a 12 grid 12 grid system okay so it is having a 12 grids okay so out of that we are allocating two grids for this field and 10 grids for this field okay so i'll use here that thing that is out of that it is called dash sm now what is sm so sm stands for small devices if you are having a large devices there you can use ls uh, if you have a medium device then you can use md so there are different notations for the small medium large devices so that you will find on uh, w3 school site or you will find out uh, it on bootstrap site okay so just here i'm going to use the sm uh, because uh, or i'm going to use here md also for because i'm you uh, running this uh, project on this web page on my uh, laptop so it is under medium uh, device okay medium screen device so md-2 so where i'll put username this label i will use here okay so after this second thing i want to use that is my, my input field so that again i'm going to uh, put inside the division tag so where i will use class called dash sm so remaining with is remaining that is 10 so 10 grid i will uh, assign or i will use for my input field okay so here i'll use input tag now so input tag will should have text type then name will have username okay so here i'm going to use here class is equal to form dash control so why do you use form dash control class because this form dash control will will adjust your uh, that input field in proper manner okay so by default every uh, text which is used in bootstrap framework is uh, having a 14 uh, 14 size okay for, for font size 14 like this the padding or other things that will be set automatically with the help of for form dash control okay so that is defined inside this form dash control so we need not to do anything just we have to use that class here then i'll use here placeholder enter your entry username okay and then i'll put a uh, attribute that is required so what is the use of required attribute so it makes your that field compulsory without filling this or we cannot you you can't leave that field empty required will make it mandatory okay you should you must fill that fill and then you uh, click on the submit button okay otherwise it will not transfer the control to the next page okay so this form i have uh, this uh, two things i have created here username and uh, its uh, input field okay now i'll do one thing that is i will copy and paste this code because i want to use i want to define design another things also so I'll copy because I, my next field is the same field that is password field so i'll copy and paste this code and just i will change these names okay password here i will use and here i'll type replace a uh, text type with password and then name with password okay and then pop placeholder enter password okay so i'll keep the required attribute here because i want to make that field mandatory so now this after this i want to put a checkbox okay so this checkbox i want to use remember me and then i will put my buttons okay so that checkbox i require okay 
so again i will do one thing i'll go there okay so third division tag i will use here class is equal to form dash group okay now here i have to use one thing that i want to use here so in this form dash group again i will use the division tag and inside this division tag i'll use a class is equal to call dash or we can do one thing so we can do one thing here i'll use label okay in this i'll use call dash md dash offset dash two okay and this call dash md dash 10 okay so here i'm going to leave some spaces from the left side i'm going to send some leave some space or leave some margin to arrange my that uh, checkbox in the proper manner okay so I'll use so inside this i'll put again division tag and here i'll use class is equal to check box okay and inside this i put input input type equal to check box name equal to remember okay and here i'll put save username and password Okay, so this I will use here, but before this, I need again a label tag. Okay, so I'll use label tag again here. Okay, now just okay, so this is what we have done here. Okay, now we'll go for a next thing that we did here. We'll again use division tag and then again i will use form dash group okay so then inside this i need a again i need a division tag so right now this division tag will have the same thing that is called dash md dash offset dash two because i want to leave some space leave some margin from the left side and then i need the call dash md dash 10 okay so this okay one thing that i miss here that is md here and here md okay so here i did it inside this i'll put the next thing that is i want here button so I'll use button tag. I'll use type equal to button. Then I'll use a class. So here I can use btn class for button. btn dash primary. I want to create here blue button. So I'll use btn dash primary. This is class available in Bootstrap framework. And then I put login name for this button. Okay, the same button I will copy and i'll paste it here and i'll just okay so i will just okay sorry here type is equal to submit because it is submit button and here reset buttons because it is a reset button so i'll you will play with this login with reset name okay so these things we have done here now the third thing that i want to do that is again i'm going to use the same thing so i'll copy this code and i'll paste here and i will do one thing here that is i will replace with this code because finally i want to put a i want to put a hyperlink there for registration form so i'll use one label tag here okay so in this label tag i'll write okay not registered 
register question mark so i'll use a tag here so i'll pass i'll use the helper link that is register.html this is my link url okay and then inside this i'll put click here for registration okay okay now the thing has been completed and i'll put the save it okay so everything is okay now we'll run this file in the browser go back so open with other open with my google chrome Okay, sorry. It is not opening in Google Chrome. Okay, yeah, it's open. Okay, now you can see. Now you can see the login form has been created here. You can see as per our requirement, username password field set has been created has been created here. Okay, so I have placed uh, the username password. So these placeholders here, then save username and password this checkbox i have placed here then login reset button i have created here and then this uh you are uh, this hyperlink for a registration form okay not registered click here for registration but now see you can see there's this this whole login form is not appropriate it is not looking well okay so we have to arrange it properly okay so again some user defined uh, css we have to use here yeah? so some inline css we will use especially we will use inline css here so i'll go back to my this form okay so i'll put okay so i'll put inline style here so i'll go to my this okay so this panel division okay so here in this in this tag i will use style attribute okay and then i will put width sorry width i'll put here width 50 percent okay and then i want margin okay so i'll mark i will i will use 13 percent for top and bottom margin okay and then for left and right margin i'll use auto value here okay so the top and bottom margin i have set to 13 percent and the left and right will be automatically adjusted here so that it will make it it will uh, arrange that login form in the center okay so now we'll see let's see the output now now you can see Okay, so as per our requirement, you can see that this is login. This panel is now arranged the uh, it is uh, arranged the center of your browser. So you can see. Okay, so this is about your uh, login form. So in the next video, I will tell you about how to design registration form. So now we'll stop here, but don't forget to subscribe my channel, like share my videos okay so thank you for watching this video we'll meet in next video bye bye